guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa and I'm back to show you my finished file folder that I've been working on. So I did a whole series of tutorials on how I made this and this project is actually a collaboration with uh, Cara Brandon from Cara Brandon Creations and the paper that I've used in this project was one of her kits. It's called the Sunflower Soiree Kit and it's gorgeous and I've used it all the way through here. So the other things that I've used are the, I've used a few bits and pieces from this journal pack, which is a set of SVG files and printable templates. Um, the actual construction of the file folder itself, I've used this uh, file folder, um, the SVG files, and they also come as printable templates. And then I used some cute little window pockets and bits and pieces throughout and that um, came from this SVG Sunflower Journal Pack. So those are available in my Etsy store and the paper pack by Cara is also available in her Etsy store and I'll put all the links down below so you can go and check that out if you'd like to. The actual construction of my file folder, I used, um, this is all I've got left, <laughs> I used these um, suspension hanging files, you know they have the metal at the top and you hang them in the filing cabinet. So I chopped all of those up and used them to make this because I thought it went really nicely with Cara's um, paper and I'm quite happy with it so let's have a look through it. First of all, I have got this huge um, dangle here, but, but these are all paper beads that I've made on here. And I did do a video on putting this dangle together. And I've done a video before on how I make my paper beads. So um, I will put them in the description box if I can't link them up above. Um, this is an altered domino. Um, well, I say that. It's what an altered domino would be like. I actually print the domino blanks myself on my 3D printer. So then I can um, print them with a hole all the way through the middle so that I can string them on here. And then I've just done a little bit of a collage with some of the pieces from Cara's pack, paper pack. And then I have coated it in UV resin on both sides. So that's kind of cute. Um, and then... What can I tell you? This this um, ribbon on the side here is holding in a journal. So there's a journal in here as well. You don't need to put a journal in, um, but I did. So that's what I can tell you about that. Um, so that's the front. I've got a series of um, envelopes stacked on the front. So I guess you'd call this a stackable, stacked envelope file folder journal thing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, the back is quite plain. I haven't done anything to the back, but look at that beautiful paper from Cara. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. I love it. All right, so I'll take off this um, bead dangle. It is just on a bulldog clip so that you can take it off. And I've also put a tassel separately on there so you could take it off if, you, if that's too much and just have the dangle. And so these are all paper beads and then there's um, a little bell in here somewhere. Yeah, a little bell and there's a little love heart as well. So I just can't um, stop making jewellery, book jewellery. <laughs> I just love making them. And the, the paper beads are great for using up all of your scraps. And these ones here I've made from um, scrap cardstock and then I've just painted them to, to make them that colour. Covered them with beauty. So that's that one. I'm a little bit obsessed with bead dangles at the moment. So on the front, I have um, some stackable envelopes that I made using the file folder pack, but I kind of made a bit of a boo-boo and I didn't think about a closure early enough. So this is my attempt at closing it all up. It, it's not the greatest, I have to say, but you know, it does hold them all in place and I suppose it does its job. So that's just a, a metal filigree piece and I think I bought that off AliExpress and I've just stuck it on with a... A brad so this one sort of flips up and then I have to sort of move it around a little bit but so I've got this little envelope at the front here and it's got a little um, wax seal there and that just flips up and then that flips out and there's this little pocket here with a little tag in it these, these are all papers from Cara's kit 
and then I've got this little sort of file folder here and it's got a little insert in there so that's that one nothing very exciting about that one just a, looks cute in here so that goes in there and then that flips out and there's a corner pocket on here and a tag that I made from a little bit of scrap paper from Cara's kit and the butterflies are from her kit and if they're not from her kit they're from a freebie so she has heaps of freebies so and you know if you go to her Facebook group Cara Brandon and friends every single Friday she does a freebie and um, they're fantastic so I definitely go and check that out and I'll put the link in below then I've got this full-size envelope that opens up here and I haven't actually put anything in it and then I've got one here that I also haven't put anything in but it flips open and then this is the sort of front of the of the file folder I've got a pocket here with a tag and most of these tags were already part of the kit I haven't done anything to that so that just all I had to do is back it onto a bit of cardstock that sewed around it and the same on this side and then these are the um, window pockets then I've just backed them with vellum so that you could see through them and still see the pretty little inserts from Cara's kit so I've got two of those little pockets there, one here and one here. And these are also little bits of ephemera from Cara's kit that I've just popped in there. So then that just closes back up like that. And then we have to fiddle around with my, with my closure to make it open and close. And it doesn't want to play. So again, probably not the best solution, but it's the only one I could think of. <laughs> So then that's just the front and then um, the whole um, file folder opens out and we've got um, two little uh, sunflower pockets here with little inserts in them and I'll just put some wax seal and a little bit of ribbon on those and this paper is from Cara's kit and it's got all these little butterflies on it. I love it. It is such a fabulous background paper um, and she's done it in blue and also in green so you can see there's a green butterfly just here so that one goes in there and then it flips out and I've got a corner pocket here with one of Cara's tags so the beauty about these uh, window pockets is you can obviously you can see through them but I don't feel like I have to decorate them I think they just look lovely just as they are but that's just my opinion <laughs> Then I've got a slot pocket here and it's got that um, sunflower motif on the bottom of that. And then lots of the little inserts from the um, sunflower kit of Cara's. And I've just backed them onto bits of cardstock sewn around them. Some of them I've put a little eyelet and a bit of ribbon on or a bit of lace. And they all go in there like that. So that closes up and then we have a little flippy file folder section here and I've just put a journal card in there. Again, all from Cara's kit. I really didn't use much that didn't come from her kit. And so that flips over. And then I've got a long pocket here. And then I've got this sunflower sort of folder here that opens up and I could have put some backing behind that but I just loved it as it was. I like that you can see through it and then there's that that green butterfly paper and then I've put some of my little paper beads on eyelets through some of these because um, I just make so many of the little beads I just love them so that's that one there and then this page opens up and I've got that double pocket thing happening again with some more um, of the um, ephemera from Cara's kit some tags and some I've uh, just some little journal cards I mean you can you can use those on anything I could have put that on the front there and this one here as well and then in the center of my file folder is my journal so this whole section here is my journal so I'll do that a little bit later um, but that's held in with the ribbon so I'll just flip that one over like that <laughs> And then on this page, I've used 
um, this strip of sunflowers um, and they're backed with vellum and I've used it as a belly band and then I've just put a giant size card in here oops where am I getting caught up I've just put a giant size sort of a journal card in here and I really didn't do anything to it this is um, the shrunk down version of the collage sheet that's in Cara's kit and I don't know I thought it was so pretty I didn't want to do anything to it so then that just slides under there if I can get it in there. I don't know, I didn't have this many problems before. There we go. I've just put cream on my hands as well, so I don't think that helps very much. Okay, so that goes in there, and then I've got another little bead, and this is um, some of the paper from that um, little butterfly page, so it's got little butterflies. Cute. Okay, and then this is the last page of the file folder, and I've done just you know this is quite a simple version of my file folder um, and I have done a whole YouTube um, channel on making the file folder I've made it a few times so this is just another version of it but this is a really simple version and so I've just used these um, window pockets quite a lot because I just think they're pretty I like them so I've got another couple of little tags in here from Kara's kit um, this is a little envelope from my little journal kit, so a little coin envelope. It's got a little butterfly on it from Cara. And a big journal card at the back here. Whoops, this one here. So that just slides in like so. And then on this side, I've got another flip out. And I've just put a pocket down the bottom here and just use some other scrap paper to make a big long tag to go in there. I feel like it needed a big long tag. And then I've just attached this one as a sort of a dangly, a dangle off that tag. And then that one flips out. And I've put another corner pocket here with another one of Cara's tags. And then I've just got this long pocket on here. And in here I've got um, a bag and this bag is from my journal pack. So, you know, it just cuts out. And then I put one of Kara's tags in there. And then I've just made another big um, journal card to go in here. So that just goes in there. And that is basically the file folder section. So when you open up the whole thing, the two flips at the side, it looks like that. I don't know if that all fits on the camera. So that goes in there and then let's go back to the journal. So the journal's just held in the centre by, um, I've just tied it in with a ribbon. So this is the centre of the journal and that's the ribbon and I've just tied it in so that you can remove it if you want to write in it nice and easily um, and also if you fill it up then you can replace it with another journal. Um, so let's go back to the beginning of the journal. So I've just put another wax seal here and this is from Cara's kit. I've used the file folder to, to make the cover, the file folder SVGs or printable templates to make the cover so that it's the same size as my file folder and it's also got these little tabs on there. And then I've used that slot pocket here again and put some more tags in here. It's another one of the um, tags from Cara's kit and another little dangly bead. I've got another one of the corner pockets from the sunflower kit and then I've got this um, paper bag and I've used this crackle um, stamp on the back of here and my friend Marlene sent it to me and I love it. Thanks Marlene. It's gorgeous. I just love what it does. It's, it's really subtle but you know it's there. Just love it. And then inside I've put another tag from Cara's kit. Isn't that unpretty? So I've just popped that one in there and pop that in the pocket. And then this is one of the pages from her kit. It's just it's just beautiful. Um, some of the um, butterflies that I got from Kara's. I think this one might be from the, a freebie. And I think these two are from the sunflower kit, but I can't quite remember. The pockets here are from her kit. So I just cut them out. I stitched around them, stuck them down and another tag from her kit, just on some um, book page. 
another little butterfly from Cara. This is um, a tag from the Sunflower um, SVG pack that I've just clipped in here. And then another little dangly bead. Another one of the corner pockets. Well, they're not really, they could be any kind of pockets. You could put them anywhere from Cara. And another one of the tags. It's another one of Cara's pages. So I've really used Cara's kit as much as possible. This page here, I just smooshed some Distress ink on the side of my page and then I scanned it so that I could just put it on the back because I wanted a little bit of white space as well. This was actually green. I can't remember which green it was. It might have been pistachio. Anyway, when I, when, I, um, when I scanned it, it didn't come out quite so green, but I still think it looks good and it's easy enough to write on that page still. I've got some of, them, some of them, more of those little pockets and some more ephemera and tags from Cara's kit. Another one of her pages, another one of her pockets. It's so easy to make because I, I just use so much of her kit. This is just plain old green copy paper. I decided that I wanted to have a few pages that were just plain and you could write on, but I thought green was a bit different. This is a CD sleeve from the Sunflower kit, so it's got this cut out here and I've put some vellum behind it and then I've put a journal card in here and then this also flips out so you can you can put some more things behind there if you want to. And that just slides in like that. And another butterfly from her kit. This is that beautiful blue butterfly paper. And then this is another one of those um, little folders from the Sunflower um, SVG pack. It just slides in there. Another little corner pocket with one of the ephemera pieces. This is the centre page. I, as soon as I saw this page in Cara's kit, I thought that's the centre page if I ever saw one. So I just love it. And then I've got, I've used that um, Sunflower strip again to make a belly band again. And then under that, I've got um, this little pocket tag. Um, and this is was a freebie from Cara's um, Facebook page. And then I've just put some of bits and pieces from her sunflower soiree kit and butterfly and a little. And then I've just popped a little tag in there as well. So it's a tag in a tag. So many little pockets and things in here. This little. I'll just leave that. Yeah, under you go. Made it worse. I'll just leave it like that for now. Um, some vintage music paper and I've just put a little flower on there. It's just a, quite a plain page. How did that escape me? <laughs> um, another one of the um, pockets from Cara's kit and another one of her tags. This is a page from her kit. Another one of my distressed pages another little pocket and then this is another one of the tags from the sunflower kit and the mats they go all squiggly like this and that's how you cut them out so that they fit on there perfectly and then that just goes under there another page from her kit i'll just put a little flower and a little bit of that crackle stamp on there and another one of the little coin envelopes here and i've just put this little doily from the kit i think it's from the kit so they're from the kit or the freebie, I can't remember. Just a bit of book page. Another page from Cara's kit. Another one of my distress pages. A bit of graph paper, because you can't go wrong with graph paper. I love this page from the kit. Um, I like that it's still quite white, um, which is nice. And this idea of this sort of stencil on top, I just love. And then I think this is the last page and I've just got another little pocket here with a a tag with a little hanging tag on it and that yeah is the end of my journal so I made all of this on camera the journal I made as a separate video and then the file folder was a couple of videos um, and then there was a dangle video as well so um, thanks very much for watching my little flip through um, you know you can watch flip throughs and you might not use the SVG files or the printable templates. You might not use Cara's kit, but you might get some inspiration. And I think it's always 
worthwhile watching flip throughs and enjoying them and and finding a little bit of inspiration for yourself so thank you very much i hope that you enjoyed that and have a great day bye for now bye